आज मैं बात करने वाला है एक टॉपिक के बारे में जिसके नाम है हीरो सो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू वॉच इज मार्वल मूवीज और ड्रीम ऑफ बिकमिंग अ सुपर हीरो इन माई चाइल्ड हुड आई हैड ड्रीम्स ड्रीम ऑफ बिकमिंग सम काइंड ऑफ सुपर हीरो एंड द थॉट्स दैट बज इज थ्रू माई हेड आर द वट इफ थॉट्स एंड आई थिंक वट इफ आई हैड दिस टाइप ऑफ अबिलिटी वट इफ I had powers would i be a hero or would i be a villain tell me in the comments who is your hero everyone has different heroes that they love maybe it is in your mind right now but the word hero what comes in your mind some might say police officers some might say nurses some might say firefighters or you're like me i watch anime the most popular anime i watch is one piece and the character in that series is luffy police officers take the risk to protect the community like batman at night time he protects his community but some superheroes or some heroes are not equipped with a lasso batarang or strings to keep their health in shape but prayer is enough in today's video i'll be concentrating on four heroes i know there's a lot of heroes but i'll be concentrating on four heroes i'll make a series on this topic as well so first up is daniel in daniel 6 16 so the king gave the order and threw daniel into the lion's pit the king said to daniel let the god whom you serve continually rescue you the king signed an order that forbid prayer and petition to any gods except for the him himself disobeying this order will bring a terrifying punishment thrown into the lions den the king's new rule will last for one month the outcome of this is death king darius's subordinates known as satraps is the villain of the story daniel's faith grew as he prayed continually note daniel prayed continually and israelites had the faith and the outcome of this was life the outcome daniel showed himself to be the hero and stood for what was right he respected god and served as an example not only for jews but for present day christians as well daniel made the sacrifice of personal comfort despite of consequences daniel 6 verse 24 it reads at the king's command the man who has falsely accused daniel was brought in with their wives and children and thrown in the lions den along with their children and wife now next up i'll be talking about david now david is the second hero of the story everyone knows the story of david christians today can recognize david as a hero for two reasons showing unwavering faith in god and standing up to a larger foe goliath was big in size and he was the strongest person in the philistine army but he did not represent god in the other hand david he was small but he represented god he represented the frailty of man but the mighty of god standing up for goliath david who was small in size he had only a slingshot and couple of rocks but most importantly he had faith incredible faith all goliath had was a big sword and over confidence that maybe the philistine armies and everyone israelites could see in his face david defeated the giant in front of him this is another example of someone showcasing the power of faith and putting God first David acted in the battle not for himself but for the Israelites he stood up in front of the giant when no warrior 
would dare step foot. But he was only a shepherd with faith and putting others first. David became a symbol of any hero facing a giant foe. 1 Samuel 17 verse 45 it reads, David said to the Philistine, You come against me with a sword, with a javelin, and a spear. But I come against you with the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel. And in verse 49, it reads, Reaching into the bag and taking out the stone, he slung it and struck the giant on the forehead. The stone sunk into the forehead and he dropped face forward to the ground. The next up is Moses. The story of Moses is in the Bible in the book of Exodus 14 verse 16. Raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. Moses displayed himself as a hero. He performed several good deeds on behalf of God and his people. He achieved the Ten Commandments, enacted the various plagues in Egypt, freed the Israelites to the promised land. But Moses did not enter because God did not give the permit for him to enter. In Deuteronomy 32 verse 51 to 52, it says, This is because both of you brought the faith with me in the presence of the Israelites at the waters of Meribah Kadesh in the desert of Zin and because you did not upload the holiness among the Israelites therefore you will see the promised land only from a distance you will not enter the land I am giving to the people of Israel. Heroes, even though they do not win for themselves, they win on behalf of others. Moses portrays the painful sacrifice that not many will make, knowing that in the end others will inherit the benefit and he would not. And fourthly, Jesus. Romans 5 verse 8, it says, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this, while we we're still sinners. Christ died for us. Jesus, a biblical hero, he modeled faith perfectly. In all that he did, Jesus showed the ultimate sacrifice by being wounded, not for anything he did, but for the wrong of humanity. Jesus did what no man would do as he paid the price. And in three days, he rose again and conquered that many feared it was the end. He showed us that we can find salvation through him. Jesus overcame numerous enemies, Satan, his persecutors, and even death. And he won in the end. And because of his win, his followers can reap the benefit of salvation. Jesus was the hero of every chapter of his life when he was on earth. Nowadays, every believer's Every non-believer knows the Bible. Now, if you enjoyed this uh, beautiful uh, story or video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Who is your hero? And milte uh, ek break Like, share with your friends this video. And uh, yeah, till then, bye bye. See you. Mayahu Jamesh Babu and I am signing out.